Welcome to All Hail Unicron, episode 43. I'm going to go ahead and call the title, Matt Has Cramps. I'm your host, Oscar Alonzo, your favorite failed internet celebrity, and a guy who spent three hours on a commission of Daredevil, only to have the guy be like, yeah, make the background red. You mean like the guy whose outfit is red? He's like, yeah, make it red. No, it should have been fucking yellow, but, you know, 75 bucks is 75 bucks, right? Whatever. And he's and like, I can't, tonight, I, can't, I can't see anything. It's all red. Blowjob's a blowjob, man. <laughs> no, this is a drug. Teeth man. in or teeth out? What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Joining me tonight Some are shit, all man. of us here of the Furious That's Five. Shit. That's right. Shut up, Furious Five. As always, he's everyone's favorite pilot of Interruptica- Interrupticus, the one, the only King of Hasbro, the champion of the domestic line, Matthew Deluxe Baldwin. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, but I don't accept that name. Uh, that belongs to Robert. So. The, king, the hey pilot there, of Interrupticus. Hey Hell there, yeah. And everyone's favorite mad professor, our benefactor. And because of the proceeds that we made on Selling Swag, we were able to donate to a friend of his um, that was undergoing a... Uh, I forgot. Oh, my God. I'm a horrible person. Um, we'll, we'll put a link in the description to go find me. Jesus Christ. Going to hell. <laughs> the one, the only, the mad professor, T2RX6, Justin. What is going on? Yes, the friend of the family who is undergoing radiation and chemo, all that stuff <clears throat> for a uh, That's what cancer. it was. So, you know, good times. That's what I was, I just, I don't know why something said heart, like, surgery, but I was very off. Okay, you're very, off. I'm glad I'm not a doctor. Yeah, that is. That and is joining us tonight, the person representing the person getting chemotherapy. <laughs> Because he sat there and PM'd him and said, I smell money in this. Let's sue. He's everyone's favorite survivor of diver diverticulitis. The only guy who is six foot three and can no longer eat red meat. He is known as King Apple in this house because he needs that fiber. And he has literally probably shit himself twice since he came back from the hospital. Robert G. Did you say G? Yeah, I think it's Robert G. Robert so- G is... Uh, As in gastro bypass. Right, in you. honor, in honor of of uh, tonight's episode, can I can I tell you a joke, Oscar? Hmm. No. What was Helen Keller's dog named? Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, we're gonna demonetize. Right and now. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there was, was some hard thought put into this. And I am honored to announce today we have a new member of the O'Hill Unicron cast, not a returning member like myself. Or like myself (laughs) or Matthew. This is a brand new member. He has spread the cheeks. He has made his offerings to the benefactor. He approved it. Everyone, please welcome. I'm giving him his official nickname from here on out. Mr. Pre-Order Rich. (laughs) Hello. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Thank you. Wow. Fucking liar. I'm a little sore sitting on a one of those round pillows, but I'm I'm on legs are cramped. Why are you sitting on a round pillow? So I had to I, spread them wide. You know, you Robert, you mentioned that Helen Keller joke. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of this video a coworker sent to me last week. I don't know if I sent it to you guys in the chat, the all hail unicron chat, but it's this kid in a wheelchair with a breathing apparatus. He goes to Disney. He goes oh, to a character, it's a picture painted. It's a, and yeah. it's a handicap sign. Yeah, the T-Rex. That's the most fucked up thing I've ever seen, but I laughed too hard. Well, he was happy, that. man. He liked it. <laughs> it's like fucking shit, well, man. As long as he liked it. Who directed it. this? It thought it was a good idea. <laughs> Let's upload this. This is okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look up, yeah, welcome uh, to the show, Rich, where yes. your morals will be chipped away slowly. You can look up Rich on Facebook. He's the only guy whose default picture looks like he does real estate for a living. Um, Funny story. Damn, man. Oh, my God, he does. Jesus, that was crazy. Do you do real estate, Rich? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> no, but I did dabble in it for a little while on the side. Oh, there we go. There it is. That or he it's sells cars at a Hyundai. Right. <laughs> but, but that you is know, not you what want I this current. Kia tell you, Rod. This shit's banging right here. It's busting. He's actually running for Congress. He, his name is Philip <laughs> <is>. Malfa Farts. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Remember that commercial? Yep. Uh, a lot of smiling early in this episode. That's good. That's good. So hey, let's get r- with the ball rolling. If anybody got anything, Rich, it's your first episode as an official member here at All Hill Unicron, which we're going to be popular because of a certain movie which we're going to talk about soon. Um, what'd you get this week? <clears throat> well, thank you for asking. Um, so I got the G1 Hound reissue. Okay. Yeah. Walmart. And I may have gotten a few of them because I, I pulled a Robert D and, and pre-ordered twice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so Hound, since I'm new to the show, I guess, Hound is my favorite G1 character. So when I saw him, I was like, all right, I'll get two. You know, you know what they say about Hound, right, Richard? He's Cybertron's yeah, greatest detective and stuff. <laughs> he is, I think. Uh, yeah, so I pre-ordered, and I didn't realize that I pre-ordered. Thank you, Robert. So I pre-ordered again. And the second time I pre-ordered, I was pre-ordering from Hasbro Pulse. And it said, limit three. And I thought, oh, I'll grab three because so now you have four. I have, I have five. You got five. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I have not ordered one, so I will buy one off you. Oh, I was yeah. one to you. <laughs> Dude, he's host, he's can charge him $500. Yeah, it was, it was not my uh, greatest moment. <clears throat> um, oh, where I was it? It's your greatest moment, yeah. What was okay. my greatest moment? Charge him five hundred dollars, though. <laughs> <laughs> charge um, him for charge him for gas used. To go to HasbroPulse.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what else did I get? Oh, I got the uh, Iron Factory. I don't remember what they're really called. Spirits of DEC. It's the uh, DJD. Darn. Good set. Yeah. yeah, I got that oh, set. The whole, oh, they have the set. whole set available. Well, this was at a, a, a local toy store that sells vintage and used, and so it was used. Turns out it didn't oh, come with all of the hands and stuff and stuff, so oh. it's missing some of the hands. But Man, who gives it's a not bad. shit? Honestly, you're like yeah. I said, as long as you enjoy it, I mean, no one's gonna fuck it. You, you put the right. hands in a baggie. You I know? don't recall there being an issue of IDW where Tarn had jazz hands anyway, so I think you're good, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? no, I'm happy with it. It's a nice set. You know about jazz hands? Jazz. Yes. Hmm. And Rise of the Beast Mirage. Um, right. <laughs> and then the last thing I got is... You my uh, boy, bro. <laughs> or something. Well, we'll get to it. Uh, yeah, and the last thing I got was a gift from a, a good friend of mine, uh, Damon. He gave me a leader class jet fire. The, or, uh, sorry, commander class jet fire. The, the Siege. Siege. That one, Steve? That's a good one. He yep. is a good figure. He's a big boy and and well built for a for a mainline toy, especially. So, huh. hell yeah, that shattered glass is fire, though, man. Oh my god, just a different paint job makes it so much cooler looking. Yeah. And yeah. oh, I remember like the 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 joy of hunting down that bad boy in Facebook groups and bad people want like one ninety, one eighty for him and. One dude straight up just told me, like, look, I'm trying to get rid of this thing. I need money. I'll give you 120. Do it 120 shipped. I was like, deal. Done. So I was what like, I pay? What's PayPal? <laughs> <laughs> F and F, bro. F and F. Always. Friends and fucking. <laughs> Whatever you do, Rich, if Oscar ever visits you, don't take him to that toy store. He's going to haggle with the, with the owner's son and then bring someone on who knows the owner and then talk shit about the kid, cause a whole big drama. I know. Oh, my God, yeah. Drama. Well, there's two of them here, so you could do that twice. Them. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll film it both times. Yeah, my friend, you'd, got, you'd give me a good deal on Helm. I need five Helms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you this, 35 American cents. This Helm only $500. For you, I'll give to 300 Five. You want to do you 150 You are a piece of shit. Hey, Belize. It's, it's pretty bad. What's happening? I Man, I gotta walk 50 minutes just to get to the convention. 40. <laughs> 40. Because the hotel. For context, is apparently right there's a 45 minute hike from the across the street of the convention. The convention is past Black the, Panther Media. The but then the heading hotel, 
towards the like, convention center for away. BotCon. Oh my God, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we may have to either rent a car or we have to Uber. Uber? Yeah. Uber? Yeah, I'm going to be in the You've been masturbating? Oh my God. Wow, Justin, edit that out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm keeping it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, how you, how you the chicken and rice is really good. Yeah. Hi, babe. You've been flicking your bean. This chicken and rice is busting, babe. What the fuck? You're my look, I may, don't put any salt in it because I put some salt in it. It's not that, it, I got it too salty. Huh? Don't put any salt in it. I put, I put a little salt in it. it was a little anyway, too Justin, what'd you get this week, man? Um, Free for you, done. Did you finish? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Sorry. No. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Well, <clears throat> so I started to think, what did I think, what did I get this week? And uh, that's when I realized that uh, I should have got a FedEx shipment from Chosen Prime, and I started freaking out because I'm like, where the hell did that FedEx shipment go, and why didn't it it get delivered oh, yeah. on the day it was supposed to? Friday. Um, and as I was starting, Friday? as I was starting to worry about it, uh, I got the notification. I was like, it'll be here tomorrow. I'm like, oh, so you know, not on Saturday like you had originally said. Okay, cool. You got, you um, got so the show nothing. Z treatment. Uh, no show Z is pretty okay. Show, show, show Z, Z is really treatment. good. FedEx is trash. Yeah, yeah. I should be getting some from show Z soon. The uh, power glides. <clears throat> anyway, so I didn't get any Transformers this week, but I did get, uh, courtesy of the new co-host, um, a resin 3D printer. And then because of that, I picked up a wash station and resin and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Rich. I mean, thanks, pre-ordered. Hey, print me some uh, <laughs> some fillers. Yeah, I mean, Welcome. for sure. Once I figure yeah, it out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, my God, we could do that. That'll be our side hustle. All hail Unicron fillers. Uh, all, all hail fillers. So, <clears throat> and I've been, uh, you know, I've been messing around with my, my old, uh, my, just my filament printer recently and got into the world of creating tires for my GoBots that have long since lost their tires or they've melted in old age and it's fantastic and I feel like I've gotten the value out of my 3D printer. Will they do Transformers too? I mean, I could, yeah, I'm sure. That'd be cool because a lot of, a lot of I mean, older tires are cracking and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's actually the new hustle, printing all hell Unicron rubbers. Exactly. That you can print rubber. Exactly. Well, that's so everybody will get pregnant. They won't, they won't, they won't be any <laughs> It won't work very well. So. As soon as you bust, you got to sit there and be like, my destiny. Plan B. cannot defeat my destiny. Squirt. Squirt. Very true. So that's all I got this week. Squirt. Okay. Matthew, what have you got this week, buddy? Man, I got some, I got some Famous Toys recorder, um, which is Blaster. He is shiny. Um, I got New Age uh, Hughes, which is their Power Glide. Awesome. I love some New Age. Uh, Magic Square Hub Heavy Gunner, which is their Brawl. Really awesome. I can't wait to finish off Bruticus. Um, I got 3-0 MD Lex uh, Nemesis Prime. Um, I got Transforming Rollout Commander of Stars, which is their Cybertron Optimus Prime. Nice. Uh, yeah, I liked it. Uh, and today I got the um, Commander Class um, Legacy Evolution Armada Optimus Pro. Um, I'll have that re review out in the morning. He's awesome so far. i am also got um, Rise of the Beast Rhinox and Optimus Prime, the Voyager ones. I didn't find Prime on which is the one I was looking for, uh, but hopefully I'll find him soon. Um, New Age Jet Where'd you, where'd you get the, the Rhinox from? Amazon? Walmart. Or? Walmart. That was weird. I haven't seen Wave One, and then Wave Two showed up as well. Uh, the Voyager ones. And... Shit, man! Like I got weeks ago. Weeks ago, I mentioned about I did get Air Razor and the Bumblebee. Mm -hmm. I thought they were okay. The but Studio I was like, Series. I really one or the uh, yeah Studio Series. Okay. I haven't seen any like I there's the <laughs> junk you know the 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 gimmick heavy yeah the, yeah yeah the but I never got any. And stuff. Yeah, I I don't see any regular figures. Like, I have not seen an either. Optimus or an Optimus Primal. And it's like, yeah. I really want that Rhinox because it looks better than the fucking Kingdom. You know? Um, yeah, he's okay. He's, he's pretty cool. I've been messing around with him. I'll probably uh, do the review for him um, the next day after, uh, probably uh, Wednesday. Um, okay. But yeah, I haven't found those. I, you know, I, I didn't see Wave 1. Then finally uh, went in and saw that. And then Rhinox was there, too. And I was like, okay, that's cool. So I got him. Um, I picked up New Age Shattered Glass uh, Jet. I'm sorry, Magic Square Shattered Glass Jetfire. 
Um, I got the three pack, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Rise of the Beast Jungle with a uh, Wheel Jack, um, Nightbird, Nightbird, whatever her name is, yeah, yeah, and Cheetor. And Cheetor is fire. Yeah, Cheetor's pretty cool. I like Wheel Jack too. I mean, I know it, what I said to my you is if if he was a name some a different character, nobody would have threw a fit. Now that you know, because he's called Wheel Jack, people are throwing a fit. So he's a good, it's a good buy. I like it. You know the. The um, Cheech and Chong van is pretty cool, and then uh, the the bot mode is pretty cool too as well. Just you know, everybody's throwing a pick of these Will Jack, and I got a bunch. I got some Pachu toys. Oh, I got Studio Series, uh, the uh, Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, and I actually went in on um, the MPA Studios, a mm-hmm. uh, little um, Beachcomber, a little Legends, a little Beachcomber. I got him. Uh, two more things, and I'm done. Uh, Cliff Jumper from APC Toys, and also got the um, Trojan Horse uh, Waspinator. Um, Hell, the, helicopter, uh, right? Yeah, the helicopter. Hell yeah. So that looks complicated as fuck. But it hell was. Yeah. It's a uh, pain in the <laughs> ass. I spent fucking uh, a couple hours trying to transform that damn thing without trying to break it. So, But it looks good in the helicopter mode. The bot mode, I mean, the, the it was a great concept, but it's just the execution. The, the, there's just stuff. It's like Iron Factory. Just stuff gets in the way. And it just it's but it it's fun kind of I guess I don't know but I like it anyways that's what I got and um, I think Robert's next maybe yeah Robert got, what'd you get this week I got that drift that new repaint what the hell a third party company I can't find it I brought the tote in and I can't find it now are you talking about the triple drift changer or the, the triple changer the, the triple changer one okay it, oh that's um yeah I know who you're talking about that's um. The name is on the tip of my tongue. I have it. Mitigate. Mitigate, the black repaint. Oh, you got the black repaint, the black and red one? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay I got the blue one. Yeah. It's fucking alt mode. I'm so pissed. Is that a complicated transformation? Something yes, it is. Well, yeah. the uh, the uh, it comes in car mode. Uh, going right. to helicopter mode is kind of a pain in the butt. Going to bot mode is okay. All right. And then, uh, a la Rich, I ended up... Wait, I why'd got- you get the repaint? Because I, I I missed the first one, I was like interested in it. I got the replay. Oh, okay, okay, you gotcha, know? gotcha. Okay, it just it just looks cool, and I figure you know. Yeah, the bottle is fun. It's a fun the, the way they yeah. engineering with the way to do it is pretty cool. I mean, the, to get a, a a nice car, the car mode is really great. Then the helicopter is kind of fugly, but to get all that into one bot, it's pretty. Yeah, cool. that's why I was interested. I was interested. It seems it, I, was it the unique toys designer? That's what I was thinking. I don't know. Uh, it could have been what they it's, did with the, their movie bo- uh, their yeah. movie bots. Yeah, I mean the way they did it. Yeah, I mean it, it could seems be. like it. You know, it seemed intriguing. That's why I wanted to get it. And gotcha. it looks nice. At least you know, freaking well, the car looks nice. Yeah, the helicopter is um, trash. It looks like. Yeah. What else did I get in? I got in Fans Toys Recorder, and then uh, Rich jinxed me. I ended up getting another one by accident. Did you transform them yet? You? Huh? I, I didn't Robert, transform yet. Robert, I will buy that other recorder off you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll talk about it. Two fifty. Um, five thousand dollars. That, yeah. That's all. That's all that I got uh, this week. You ain't got no legends. Uh, what no. the hell? You ain't got that power mm-hmm. glide in yet? No, waiting for him to come. He's waiting fun, man. He's a fun little bot. He's tiny, but he, the transformation is really cool. The engineering, the way the engineering on that little fellow, it's just. It's I can't wild. wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. I wish I got it sooner. But, you know, I saw that it was listed, so I I ordered it, and uh, that's all that I got. What did you get, Oscar? Um, I got a few things, because uh, it's Yay. been a while since I was on the cast. I was unable to, unable to make the last episode. Um, <clears throat> um, I had some family stuff going on. I had to watch my nephews. My mom was in the hospital. <clears throat> um, Sorry to hear that. It's, it's, I don't want to talk about it. It's dumb. But, yeah, I got the Target 3-pack, which came with uh, Cheetor. Um, Wheeljack and Nightbird. Nightbird. Um, Nightbird's was, uh, not that good. It, she's not, but I love her. I like her alt mode, so she's in her vehicle yeah. mode. And she's staying there. That's a good vehicle. Um, pretty clever with the sword being a spoiler. You know, even though it's like, oh, it's a sword, but it's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you're if from you Jersey tilt, City, if you tilt your head and kind of squint it. It looks. You, like you know, if you're from Jersey City and you dated a racer girl, the girls that love their little rice burners that race in the middle of the night before Fast and the Furious was cool, then yeah, it's staying in vehicle mode. It's a spoiler. Um, I love Tudor. I think he's fucking great. I want to paint yeah. the brown bits on him, uh, silver or blue. I'm not sure which ones. Um, Wheeljack's okay, man. Like I, on, I was. I think people are just pissed because we got a look at Wheeljack in the Bumblebee movie. 
this is supposed to be a sequel to that. And then we get, you know, the Jeffrey Dahmer Wheeljack we have now. So I think that's why they're a little PO'd because he has a mouth. Wheeljack's never had a mouth. Um, I think they're going to call him Cheech and Chong halfway through the movie. Yeah, some shit like that. Um, so I got those three. I ended up getting my, excuse me, DNA design Menasaur upgrade kit. I haven't applied it yet. It's been super busy at work. Um, I also picked up um, <clears throat> Metal Hawk, which I love. Mm. I know I know it's nothing but a redone Cyclonus, but it's I think the colors work well. They pop. He really, really does remind me of the IDW version we saw. Um, so I like it. I think it's a great figure. Um, I like his jet mode, obviously, because y'all know I like my jets. Um, I also picked up Skyquake Legacy. Uh, leader class, which is probably hands down my favorite Hasbro figure of the year so far. It is every time I thought, oh no, ugly hollow inside, something flips down to cover. You know, I love the way he poses. I drew this guy not once, but twice to post on my Instagram and on Reddit. The guys at Reddit fucking love it. Um, love Skyquake absolutely adore it i think it's probably the best figure i've picked up this year so far it really is like my favorite leader class figure was probably menace was a uh, menace or uh, motor motor master because i like what they did with this trailer and they kept it hasbro and mine wasn't all fucked up like some people's um but no i think skyquake wins it for me so far as hasbro's best figure of the year um i like it a lot i like that needle nose plugs into the top of them so it kind of gives me like the whole dreadwing dreadwind whatever their name is, um, vibe there, but without the whole, like, quick, shove your cock, pick up my butt. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I that's what I've got so far this week. And my nephew, Sebastian, gifted me a Legends Class Thundercracker to go with my nightstand of Thundercrackers. So now I got another Legend Class Thundercracker. And the other day, I was going to pick up Transistor, but it's like, I have the Shattered Glass, I have the original Blaster, and it's like, do I need a Transistor? And by the time I went back to get him, he was gone. So, yes, I need a, I need a Transistor. Um, what fuck's a Transistor? Oh, not trans. Um, blaster. The Blaster repaint. Twincast? Oh, Twincast. Twincast, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's what they were calling him at KFC. I'm old. That's good. That's, <laughs> that's a good bot right there. That Blaster's a good mold. Speaking of blaster, you notice something? I noticed something about uh, that deformation space versus the fans' toys. What was that? His chest is off center. Like no, 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 you get you got to move you got to move it over. Uh, are you talking about the fans' toys one? Yeah, no, it's it, in alt mode. It's supposed to be off center. In robot mode, it's supposed to be centered. And fans' toys pulled that off, but deformation space is just centered. In alt mode, it's centered. If you wow. look at the G1 model, his his tape doors offset. Ah, I still think this looks better. I mean, it looks uh, looks better than the Fans Toys one. I like that chin. Oh, I did a versus too. If you don't, if you don't mind, that's watch. where I noticed the. Uh, <laughs> I was just getting ready to say that's where I noticed that it was off center. Was it okay? I'd have to look yeah. back. I didn't really. I like the it's it's because for me, I always thought Blaster had a wider chest, and on the Fans Toys, it's a little taller. It's not white. So the DS kind of pulls it off a little better. It has a little wider chest and everything. I just, I just think the DS one looks better. I mean, I don't know. I, just, I like the head sculpt better. I don't, I don't, what fans do we do with that little thing on top of his head? That just really fucking ruins a lot of it. <laughs> just looks so blah. Yeah, his forehead. Yeah, but the paint's good, you know, as always. But you know. Yeah, I have that deformation space, and I never noticed that about the the, yeah, neither. I, I had to go back. I had to go in there and look at mine again. I it's when you had them side by side. I was like, "What is wrong with that deformation space?" And then I realized it's the tape doors not shifted. I think if a DS would have had fans toys paint, it'd be. I think everybody would love that one a lot. Sounds like Matt's talking to himself. I probably am. I mean, I'm sorry. Let's they go. Both sound are, alike. Are we? Uh, hell are yeah! We, uh, hell yeah! Are we? Uh, deformation are we, are we space. On? Are we on a, are we, what are we talking about? Are we doing we are a, going to be talking about movie show news, Mr. Deluxe. Okay. The new Rise of the Beast clip complete with voices revealed and Wheeljack fixing his glasses. Ooh. 
Oh, they oh they've been showing a lot of uh, TV spots. Man, I'm so ready. I took I'm, I took Friday off. I'm gonna go watch it Thursday night. I'm gonna go watch it Friday. I'm excited. Hmm. My nephew Sebastian isn't, but that's why he's disowned. But Alex is interested, so you should. Saying. Yeah, you should disown. They don't like that. He's like, it looks okay. I was like, I beg your effing pardon. Meanwhile, my nephew Alex is like, a debtor by Noctovith? I'm like, yeah, buddy. Sure Dude, is, is that Cheetor on on Mirage? On the in that uh, picture with Osmus? Which, which? Just the main picture when you click on it. Is that uh, Cheetor on? Uh, is that Mirage that he's on? Yeah, 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 yeah. He jumps yeah. on him in the clip. Yeah, because he's a bitch. And he's like, "Hey, man, I'm Pete Davidson. Let's have sex." And she was like, "Okay, I guess so. Let's fuck." <laughs> Dude, have y'all seen that Yellow Park fucking uh, Primal, the uh, 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 model kit? That thing looks badass. Have y'all have seen that Is yet? Is that in the news? Because we could have talked about it. You know, Is I was going to throw it in there, and I found Oh, God bless America. That thing looks so badass. I'm, I'll, I'll find it. That. God damn it, pre-order. Find a link. Yeah. I got to go. It? It's your Have first day here, it? man. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. Oscar, yeah. you seen it? No, I have not. Robert? Get it in there. Is Robert here still, or did he leave already? He said he had to go and take care of a customer for uh, 20 oh. minutes, so he's, <clears throat> you know, giving a handy. Justin, did you see it? In the alley. I have not. No, not yet. God dang, this thing looks. But I'll see you badass. later if pre-order puts it in the news. Yeah, to put it in the news because that thing looks fucking so, badass, man. Okay, so let, let's let's address the elephant in the room, right? So this movie takes place in the '90s, and we have two new characters. Yeah, One's a saw. single dad, right, or a big brother. I don't know which one, and the I other one's single dad. some lady, yeah. and. And the big bad is Unicron. That's where we're going to get a lot of subscribers. Um, we'll probably get five more subscribers. That's right, folks. Five. At least five. At least. One more than four. Maybe three. Five more than zero. Okay? Maybe Remember three. That. So my issue here is, so they're, the Maximals are fucking huge. They are. Like, look at it. If you but, look at. Buddy, this ain't your old Beast Wars, man. This screen ain't your old Beast Wars. Optimus Prime looks like he's about to eat the humans. And then Mirage's like, oh, hold up, man. I'm Pete Davidson. And Optimus Prime's like, hey, Pete Davidson, hey, that's fuck. Yeah, you got it, bro. And they, man, and that's they, called disguise, Oscar. That, yeah, that's the thing that gets me is that they're all in disguise, but, like, these animals are enormous. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they've been in the jungle, like, man. Give I them a break, see, dude. They've been hiding. The, I could see Air Razor kind of being the birth of the legend of the Thunderbird for Native American lore. But I really don't see Optimus Prime being confused as Sasquatch, let alone what the fuck they would think Cheetor is, let alone Rhinox. Because, mind you, there are scenes of RC riding Rhinox, which I think is fucking cool. Oh, that's the awesome. Record, I'm going to take a picture of that. Shooting the hell out of that. St- shooting the hell out of the enemies, right? It's or something. Yeah. What a... Well, I mean, you got to dumb, dumb it down when you go to these movies, man. <laughs> Just I, to turn your brain off and just like, all I right, hear let's go. you, man. And, and I've done that for a few films I've seen over the last few years. A lot of them being Marvel. Um, you know, like, I think Marvel movies are okay. I love my Marvel movies. I love Thor. I think he's the best Marvel MCU character ever. Thanks to Chris Helmsworth, no. he'll be voicing Optimus Prime. Um, hey, did you see uh, like, Guardians 3? I did. I saw that last night with the I wife. Liked it. I thought, it, I thought it was good. It was a good send off. Yeah, um, it was. could have gone without the legendary Star Lord will return things because it's just going to be dumb. Like you, you ended it perfectly. They went their separate ways. One person, two people kept it going, being Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Now I'm spoiling it. I'm fucking sorry. Um, you know, they ended it perfectly. I thought it was a great farewell. James, you know, James Gunn's got to go. You know, fucking apparently try to fix Fuck these. DC. Happened, Superman say fucking like Fuck you, Lex Luthor. Bah, heat vision. You know, maybe he'll be less fucking threatening than Henry Cavill's. Which everyone's like, oh, he's the best uh, Superman ever. No, uh, he's the scariest Superman ever. And I want to just make clear that Henry Cavill's Superman won't get the cat out of the tree. He'll heat vision to branch the cats on. And then let it fall on a child waiting for the cat. This ain't a probably DC true. podcast. So, Wheeljack looks fucking hideous in these clips. He really fucking does. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just realized, picture 12... His seatbelts are suspenders. 
That's fucking yeah. awesome, man. It, yeah, I'm getting place. like re- there. I'm sorry. I I understand your champion. I'm has. Um, I'm cold. I'm champion of Transformers, dude. I don't. No, no, no. Your champion. A movie, a mainline movie, where they radically redesigned a character from its prequel, which established he looked like. The original material, and now he's turned into the equivalent of Steve Urkel with a fucking motorcycle helmet on. That's fucking awesome, dude. That's dumb as what that Fuck is. Fuck everybody. It gets a little throws, a little fits. I don't give a shit. We got Transformers on the big screen. Dude, just because it's on the big screen means Transformers it's on the big screen. We could not have know. anything at all, Oscar. I would be they okay with take, that. They could take their ball and go home. And I'd be okay with that. No, yeah, wouldn't. sometimes I feel like they should. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. It's not being a hater. It's it's just it's being very opinionated about how I'm not a fan of this one character's design. Stop drinking. You understand? It's to me, it's fucking dumb. I think RC's a win. I like RC. Get it? Make her make her a motorcycle. Cool. Whatever. But you come give me fucking Wheeljack, and I'm expecting him to sit there and be like Optimus. I know how to solve the plant. Is that cheese? Hey, is that uh in picture eighteen? Is it Optimus fixing ride Rodox? Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. That's going to be awesome, dude. He I'm rode gonna, Grimlock. Oh, fuck you he so rode, hard. He rode, he's going to ride Ronix, dude. Man, this is... I cannot wait for all the haters to shut the fuck up and love this movie. I can't wait for Michael Bay to come back so that way Optimus Prime could look the Hispanic lead in this film and be like, I'm sorry, we don't take EBT cards. I'm back, bitch. <laughs> I like I like the picture with the two human characters. Um, And he, the one has, like, two flashlights and... I have no idea, like a, a gun sight in the center yeah. of his, his face. That's my adjustment. That's the thing that Mirage gave me after the Shut the fuck up, Jose. Uh-huh. I, I think that's care. that's the exosuit, isn't it? Didn't uh, Jazz give him uh, the uh, it's a It's an attachment for it. It's not a whole exosuit. Like, I read some bullshit article no, from he gets, King Cool. No, he gets a full exosuit. No, they show the, the he's in a, 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 a one of the TV spots. Is it he, in has, a- he has a whole exosuit, man. Hmm. He ripped Johnny Five's head off. Optimus did and gave it to him. That's right. That's what it is. Give me your face. Right. Here, now Check you clear. Words. So I'm going to say anything Michael Bay wants. I need to get on a podcast that's not full of haters. Mm. <laughs> There's more idea. Yeah, so Probably is fucking huge, dude. He is my, fear, big, my fear is this, Matthew, is that it's going to verge back to the sex sells Transformer movies we dealt with before. I hope so, movie. man. I hope somebody's humping. I hope Primo humps every fucking year. I hope not. I really... Dude, look at picture six, man. He is fucking beefy. <laughs> he is so beefy. Mm. I like it. Can't wait. So funny. <sighs> Damn, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. You'll get over it. Robert, thoughts on the movie? Suck it, Robert. Robert. Robert's, Robert's away. Like I told you, he's giving a handy to a customer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Taco Bell behind the trash heap. Mm-hmm. Well, we shouldn't talk about we shouldn't talk about just for Justin. The, <laughs> yeah, I know because you know where that's gonna go. Because we're just gonna bitch. Uh, you know, they're gonna hate on that too as well. God damn it! You are not wrong. It's terrible. I don't know. <laughs> what is You'll his? Uh, what is his name? Jizraz. Uh Draz. 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 I don't know. Draz. Draz. The Drax. Mraz. That's the Mraz. Drax. That's right. We were going. That sounds like something you put on your sandwich Drax. at Subway with Jared Fogle going. Just go ahead, man. Put a put a put, put on all, all of the whole foot long. Oh my Quiznos, god. Quiznos is better. How are the kids doing, by the way? Yeah. Excuse me, Jared. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Is nothing. he? In jail? He's still in jail, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's still in jail. Motherfucker had like a hundred gigs of CP on. How do you get that much money and you, man? You just God. Dang. Because the did, rich did are you, stupid. Did, did anyone see the documentary about that? It is fascinating. <laughs> is it really fascinating? The one on YouTube? Uh, I don't know if it was on YouTube. I saw one. I think I saw it on Hulu. Is it Netflix? Oh, Hulu? Yeah. Okay. Ew, there's that Mirage figure we we talked about with the gray wheels. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love the R. Kelly edition. <laughs> That's funny. I Who made that headline? You. Who made that headline? That was all rich, man. It's pre-orders job. That's he right. did it. He nailed it. He did. So yeah, let's move on I to the third part of news. X Transbots, Piss Magnus, Commander Stack. I'm so excited for this edition. damn thing. I cannot wait to get this. So, fun note, fun fact about this. I did a little research before we did the yeah. show. If you are underage or have someone in your house underage, it will urinate on it. And then 
obligatorily deny it completely. That's messed up, man. But I'm getting it. Are you getting it, Oscar? You know no, you're getting it. Come I am on. not getting this thing. Why do you not like clear it, This just gives me shades. Uh, I just I know someone in Transformers Addicts is going to get it. Oh yeah, <laughs> Chris Labrador is gonna buy the fuck oh, out of this. Oh, definitely. No, that, that's not addicts. He's in, well, he may be next, but he's also in. Um, he's in a oh, buy sell trade group. Yeah, shit, I forgot. He always he's a good dude, man. Um, I think he is. That. I think he's an all right guy. <clears throat> that's why I know he's gonna buy the fuck out of this. Probably two of them, one for each end of his desk because oh, he sits there and bans the, another uh, scalper. It, yeah, he does. It's a Transformers Liberty. Yeah, the bell buy sell and trade discussion. Yeah, yeah. he's always in there too. Yeah. So oh, this I'm is uh, this. this is kind of a smart move by X Transbots. Why do you say that? So back in the day when when Takara first reissued Ultra Magnus, they came out with the Delta Magnus or Delta Convoy, which was the Diaclone. It was like right. an E Hobby exclusive, yeah. and then they came out with this as an E Hobby exclusive G1 yeah, clear Ultra Magnus. That thing's expensive too. Yeah, it's called the shi like Shining Magnus or Matrix yeah. Glow Magnus or R Kelly Magnus, you know. And this is my life, man. Exactly. So I don't. I think it's smart. Yeah, yeah it's fun. This no, yeah, it's easy. Justin's, it's uh, color. Yeah. This is Justin, one of Justin and I's earliest memories of being on SCU together. Remember that uh, KFC uh, stacks? Mm -hmm. Yep, I do. Yeah. That thing was trash. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it, it wasn't was bad. bad. I don't it's know. I never had it. I don't know. Fucking huge was the problem. Yeah, it was pretty big. So. I'm doing it. Big I'm fucking getting, masterpiece bot, man. I didn't know what I was thinking about that thing. I'm definitely getting this guy. I like this. I like dollar. this show Z story. One dollar deposit, one dollar off. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> Hey, well, you like, yeah, man, whatever. Look, I'm about to drop 150 deposits on this pre-order. I think 95% of my, my purchases are now either Show Z, TF Safari, or Terry. Yeah, it's pretty much the same for me, too. I don't, especially for, like, Legend scale stuff. Oh, man, yeah, they're, so they're much so we, better price than... than we blew the lid open on that because we're great detectives. Like, mm -hmm. Detective Howe, Cyber Crowd's greatest detective. And they get here they get here uh, quicker than usually when the, they get over here. Now, Agatha's has been getting a lot of stuff early, too, as well, now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you save at least sometimes 40, 50 bucks on some Legends uh, bigger stuff. So, yeah, I've definitely been ordering a lot from, I'd say 99%, 95% of my stuff has been overseas now. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> it's sad because, been, like, you know, I want to support, like, oh, yeah, real, definitely. Re realtors and stuff, but it's like, if you're not going to be able to uh, put it out at a, a decent price like everyone else, then I'm good, you know? Yeah, or at I least mean, explain why the markup, you know, like tra full transparency gets you a lot of. Well, everybody lot knows what the markup, business. but they have to make a little money. I mean, they have to make money on their side, you know, for their sales too. I mean, Bro, like a hundred bucks. Yeah, sometimes, not all the time. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know shit. Yeah, it's just it's, it's pretty extreme. Just like that, it's like twice the the difference. Like it's one thing if it was like twenty bucks difference, but like it's legit double the price, you know, in a lot of cases. Sometimes, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm I'm getting this. I know that's because you're that Jolly Rancher. You still don't lick your figures like I asked you when you do a yeah, cool figure review. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't. It's your yeah. figure, man. Just go, mm, man. That's great, right there. Yeah, most people think I do lick them, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you lick your figures? Like. I don't. It just looks like I. It's do. just I got this dumbass friend that gave me this idea on the yeah. podcast I'm on. Man, I hate America. Fuck Oscar. Fuck okay. right in the butt. All his wife watches. That's America. gross. That's gross. Up next after Piss Magnus is the New Age Autobot headquarter play set. This is actually really cool. Amazing front door engineering. At such a small scale. <laughs> oh, my God. That's not a pot shot at you, Matt. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't, I don't know what YouTube you're talking shorts. about, dude. Dude, this thing's made out of Legos. This... This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm getting this too. I like that it's like you can that you you uh, rotate the <clears throat> the middle piece and the door opens like that. That is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. You also get a uh, little blue uh, Optimus Prime too. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, what's that for? Is that for like maybe the scanning? I guess yeah. When they were like getting their alt modes, but he oh, was yeah, yeah he was out cold. Yeah, they were in robot mode when they got scanned. So, so yeah, my only I'm... question is, how much is this? Because I feel like the the free opt the quote unquote they free Optimus given, they Prime. They haven't got a price yet. I'm okay. thinking three. Three. I'm gonna make the call. Three hundred for this. Yep. Oof. Yeah, this, is, this is something we have to look, to look at for sure before I. I, I say pre order. Unless, um, yeah, Rich just said pre-ordered. Sick fuck. No, I said, what's what? What did pre-order say? Uh, I'm right. saying apparently this is set D because they're gonna make a. Like they've a already made base. A, B. They've already made A, B, and C. Uh, a was uh, like the med bay or something, and uh, one was a throne, and something else. So they've already. I thought made the a, space B, and bridge would have been like set A. Uh, they came with the uh, jets. Yeah, they came didn't with they? Spe- yeah, they came with the seekers. And the cone heads, but no, they weren't part of the. Like I said, the part A I think was the throne. Uh, B was maybe the uh, like I said the med bay thing, in the uh, arc. And uh, C I forgot which other ones, but they already been made. I didn't know at first, but I, somebody uh, set me straight whenever I was uh, doing this on the on new stuff. And um, uh, yeah, you're probably right. I forgot about those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did too. I, I, I was like, why? Because people were asking me why is it set in D. I'm like. I don't know. I'm just reading what it says on the thing. But yeah, somebody told me these that. nuts, right? That's what you told there me. There you go. <laughs> I should have, but no. It's, yeah, so they've already they've already used those sets and everything. So this is uh, set D. Yeah, you get a little. Yeah, it's, it's three hundred. Eh, I think that might be a little too. I'm looking maybe one twenty five, one fifty. I might be wrong. Shit, I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, it would so, be too expensive. If it was like three hundred, but. I mean, I feel like they're giving, like, they're, like, pre-ordering you get this Prime. I'm like, do you get this Prime, or is this just, like, um, a way to make it more expensive? Where do you pre-order that? No, I don't know. I want that blue Prime. If it's clear, I fucking want that blue Prime. So it's 36 meters, I'm sorry, 36 centimeters tall, 26 meter centimeters front and back, and then 60 centimeters width. That's not bad. Yeah, about two foot wide. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I, I definitely want it. Uh, you definitely use it for my pictures, or at least for my, you know, maybe a background for my reviews or something. But definitely for my pictures. Yeah, and that is cool. What you said about the jet, you know, the jet burner turning the to rotate to make the doors open. That is pretty sweet. I love New Age. Me too. Who New Oscar? Age loves your wallets. They yeah, they do. fucking do. Yeah, they do. So, up next, this is some news to me. Magic Square Predacons coming? Finally. No, that's not Magic Square. That's a uh, that's a custom. Is it? Yeah, they're yeah. printing them. It's MS Toys, though. It's labeled. Diam Chalk reported it. He's never wrong about anything. Uh, I think they're... Well, it's a question mark, too, as well. But, no, they've been... They've chosen these off for a couple of weeks. Uh, they are uh, 3D printed. I'm assuming that's how most prototypes are done today. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Uh, see, uh, Tim K even said it over in Germany, not MS. It's a custom. When Tim K says something, it's fucking golden. I don't listen Oscar. to Tim K because he's not American. Okay. Well, fuck you. No, I mean, it's a pretty good it, custom if someone. I think it is a custom. It. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it looks good for a custom, but I think it is a custom. I don't think it's. If it is MS, I, I'll. You know, I'll tell you I was wrong. But if they do. But they're doing, you know, right now they're doing the uh, Combaticons. I don't think they would try to put out another um, combiner. I'd be nice to have a legend scale combiner. You know, pretty cool, pretty neat. A oh, pretty yeah. King, yeah. More G1 well, style, not MMC or, or the King uh, Toys. King toys. Yeah, the I King want. Toys I think nice. that would look great with, because I'm, um, you know, oh, that's what I forgot. I should have mentioned that. What would you get this week? But it'll be here probably by next week, my... Uh, I, I, I'm in on the Magic Square Bruticus, so I got nice. heavy guns on the way. Um, so, yeah, like, I nice. want a nice mini con He's scale, fun. legend fun. scale combiners collection. I already have Superion thanks to Zeta Toys, and I got Menasaur thanks to Magic Square. Um, and now I want, you know, I want a, I want a Bruticus, man. I want a good Bruticus. Nice little. You got a Devastator yet from a Magic Square? No, I have. I haven't. I've been looking into it, man. I want to see which one's gonna be the better set because they both have that stupid attachment, which is you know, Devastator's fucking torso. Um, 
So I don't know which one I'm going to go in on yet. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I do want a Devastator. I, it, obviously, it needs to happen. Yeah, you do. That's like three Decepticons to one Autobot set. It's like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, it is. They need to make the uh, air. Well, they got the aerial bots. Somebody need to make a Defensor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Computron. Yep. Interesting how and maybe Defensor a and Computron King. just get neglected all the time. That is true. I'm waiting for MMC or X Transpot to release their uh, next one for their. I would uh, like Hasbro to release, uh, finally give us some uh, cock teases on the Aerobot set because they kept saying, there's a jet set we're doing soon. It's like, ooh. So X Transbots has a Legends uh, Defense Orc coming. I know. Oh, yeah. They got X Transbots need to figure out they're not Legends Defense Orc. I, yeah, I think it had three steps to transform. It's like, what? That's like, that's G1. Well, oh. you know. Can't make an no. omelet without breaking a few wallets. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> and plus that, like you know, like X Transbots, like if you're getting into the uh, Legends game, like I uh, have no start, confidence. You'll start in... off with them. Yeah. Yeah, like I have no confidence in your product right now because like even your MP game is like this is great, this is shit, this is great, this yeah. is shit. Like so. If like, you yeah yeah you gotta start with New Age or Magic Square, even Iron Factory. <laughs> you can start off with those three before you start with the. Spots, That's right. Iron Factor's doing a fucking uh, Lyle Kaiser set. Yeah, Shit. they are. They are. Yeah. It looks good too. They're doing a uh, looks... they're doing a reissue of their DJD stuff too. And all... I know, <laughs> man. Like I kind of want in on that too, is I missed my set. I bought the original set when it all came out. Man. Yeah, that's a good set. Even that was some fun eBay buy... with the wife. <laughs> Watching TV, eBay on my phone. Like, oh, there we are. Even uh, even not combined, and that, I meant combining just the cherry on top. They didn't even need, even need to be combined. They, they sure did. Good. So yeah, that live concert. here's some because they're probably order too. Roberts and Auto Transforming G1 Grimlock. I think I'm in on this one too. I didn't get the prime, but I think I want the Grimlock. So they're gonna do another Robosin, right? Yep, Robosin. This is the third one. I think they're doing a Bumblebee too. Are they going to make it say Grimlock convert? I hope so. I hope that you give it commands and it tells you no. Because <laughs> it's Grimlock. <laughs> and it just it crosses his arm and sits in the corner. But Me, so Grimlock, so no transform. Justin gets his kids together. You guys ready? Okay, Grimlock, convert. No. Me, Grimlock. And then yeah. it just starts swinging on Justin. Ow, it really hurts. <laughs> it just, just hey, is that, real, is that a real blade? To. Jesus, I'm bleeding. <laughs> He's cutting me. Grimlock King, me kill you in front of family, make mine. Oh, uh, Greg Berger's going to be here in uh, in our uh, Little Rock Comic Con uh, next month. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, nice. I was hoping to be at TF Con because I want to like talk the wife into bringing the dog so he can meet Grimlock. Oh, that'd be cool. Dog. Hey, I'm sure. I'm sure they they just announced um, uh, Primal. Uh, uh, what's his name? Who, Gary who Chalk. Yeah, Gary Chalk. He's gonna be at um, he's gonna be at Bacon. I'm sorry, he's gonna be at Bacon. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll be there. Get all preachy and shit. Is like he? he always does? I don't know. I like David K. Oh, uh, also Bacon's gonna be uh, Scott McNeil. I, I like him. He's awesome. Uh, raise he your hand if you give a shit. Oh, no one. Okay. Wow. I Fuck Scott McNeil. I was, man, I just, man. God, you're such a hater. I know. I'm See, on that's, today. I'm sorry. It's been I, a week. I, I gotta admit, Scott McNeil's the one reason I'm thinking about going to Bicon. Dude, he's a talented man. once, and he's very talented, man. <laughs> Scott McNeil looks a lot like that guy in high school that would buy you and your friends a pack of smokes and be like, "Hold on, hold on, let me get three of those bad boys." Well, you look like on. a pack of you look like a pack of cheese. <laughs> Whatever that means, but you know, anybody gonna get this? I wonder how much this is gonna be. How much was Prime? What eight hundred dollars? Yeah, eight hundred bucks. And then his trailer's like another six. Mm-hmm. God, the only bless. person who I think has a chance of buying this would be Robert. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow your roll, buddy. Oh, sorry. I, I, got, I got the money to buy this thing too. Thank you. Did you buy the first one? Wow. No, I didn't want it. Oh, well, I so mean, that it would be really I didn't cool. Think you'd be in on this one. It would I think be I'm really in on this one. It would be really cool if it transformed and you could get him to walk in dinosaur mode. He might walk in dinosaur mode. And then I would be upset because if I did jump in on this and invest in this, and I did that in front of my dog Grimlock, and then suddenly it turns into an $800 chew toy, Mm -hmm. (laughs) I would lose my shit indefinitely. Oh, yeah. 
I don't think I know because I fuck with him with the Studio Series leader class I got. He fucking loves it, but don't he hasn't chewed on it. Don't put it on the ground. Keep it uh, away from him. Watch him be missing his front teeth, too, in this version. Oh, damn. Yeah, that would suck. Do they, show it in, they don't show it in dinosaur mode here, right? No, they don't. It's all in it's robot, robot mode. Early, uh, early pro back time. looks nice and clean. You know, it's just a fucking head folded over back with huge wings. Oh, it would be last... interesting to see how this thing actually transforms. Like, not that Grimlock is like a tough figure, but like he's gonna have to use his, his arms to walk. So yeah, be interesting. Be like super hard to move arms with like a hundred servos in each arm. I might get this. I don't know. That's second to last picture. He's got teeth. He's got his Look. front teeth. Mm-hmm. Where? At least two of them. Se- second to last picture. Number four. Ah, oh, there they are. Yep. He ain't missing his teeth. His teeth. We Grimlock brush every day. We Grimlock say, you dumb, okay? Ah, oh, fuck you, Willie. See, the joke none of us know is he doesn't transform. But every time you ask him, he just says, no. <laughs> that's how they get away the, with it the instruction oh, the manual insists one. that he transforms but like good luck <laughs> <laughs> you wake up in the middle of the night it's eating the robots in Optimus Prime <laughs> <laughs> I, hope Willie, I hope Willie's next after Grimlock I if hope you, not. that's gonna piss everybody off if you do happen to have the robots in Prime Grimlock just comes and pushes it off the shelf <laughs> <laughs> oh I hope it's Grimlock Willjack King. from Rise of the Beast Big I hope that's Grimlock the next one King, stupid Autobots dumb. you know one thing this has over the Prime already right it can stand up in robot mode <laughs> without being Shots turned on fired. bang 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 Take that, Robo Sin. Pre ordered, put you in his place, but he did add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> he did yeah, add to cart. You. All right, so yeah, Robert's in on that. Robert's still on his um, Rise of Trent. I am not reading that. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Well, that's rise, <sighs> rise of Tranny 2 pack is what he <laughs> wrote. I started to write it, I changed it. So. That was too much. Legacy Evolution, Minor Megatron, and Senator Ratback, Rise of Tyranny, Tupac. This man, they're getting that money's worth for that Megatron mold. God, right they are. and that's and that sweep. Um, uh, the sweep's been used. This will be well, yeah, it's about four or five times. But that Megatron, ten plus at least. Yeah, but I kind of like this though, man. I like the rat bat. I think that's pretty cool. I like the Megatron too. It's you know, like I, I think it's Something funny different. around this time that MMC is releasing just the core bot from their uh Tyrantron mm-hmm. figure. So you could use both of the of the sets. Um but this looks fucking dope as shit, man. Like I think this is pretty cool. I knew Rat Bat was gonna be had to have been a remold of either freaking it was either gonna be Cyclonus or Scourge. Um like he was when he was a uh, he was a re- he was also a remold of Scourge for his last release, right? Um, for was was it a Botcon set, Matt? Rich? No, not Botcon. What do you mean? Uh, the the purple Scourge wasn't that a fucking rap bat? No, no, it's not. It was uh, that was uh, Takara, I think. Yeah. It was uh, oh, TSCC. You're talking about TSCC? Yes, yes. The Collector's Club. Yeah, that yeah. was the uh, Scourge. Yeah, he was a Scourge remold. Yeah, it was Mer- Scourge remold, but before that, they made him. It was it wasn't was he a bot? No, he wasn't a bot on set. He was a remold of the uh, planet uh, the sideways figure. They re- they recolored him purple. Now they did a re- uh, now they did a or universe. Cybertron. They did a universe two pack with the Rat Bat, and he was um, uh, he was in with the uh, the golly, I forgot what it was, but they did a two pack of universe of Rat Bat and some other character. Don't remember that one? I remember that one. It was like uh, two Voyagers. Yeah. Well, no, it was two Deluxes. Mm-hmm. It was. It was the. Uh, it was That's the one I'm talking deluxe. about, dude. He came with like a. It was like a Roadbuster or some shit like. Yeah, that. Roadbuster. He, he was a, a recolor shot. of. Uh, yeah, Deluxe Hotshot. And then Rat yeah. was. Um, oh, recolor of Sideways. Sideways. Yeah, Cybertron. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, so, yeah, first that. thoughts on this. I like the detail on Ratbat's chest. I like the head sculpt on that. Megatron, I really hope those are paint apps and not fucking stickers. Because remember when they were doing that shit for Combiner Wars and shit just falling off? 
Oh, uh, it'll, it'll be it'll be paint. They won't be stickers. But it looks like a minor vehicle. It's still the lazy tank design from Siege. Um, it's the Siege mold, not the Earthrise. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Sure. I think it looks fucking cool. I think this is a nice get, nice pickup. I don't think this thing's gonna be like selling out. Is this gonna? What kind of exclusive is this? Amazon? Is it? A, is it exclusive? <laughs> It uh, looks like it's going to be exclusive. It'll be um, convention, a convention exclusive. There we go. Oh, so none of us will get it. Okay, well, fuck off. A shared convention. Really? Well, your fucking weeaboo webtoon Jap- Japanese uh, exclusive fucking convention two-pack. Nah, uh, I bet Pulse gets it. I'm, I, bet Hol- I bet Pulse gets it, maybe. I am. Part of the upcoming should, Amazon line. Should be fucking 60. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be part oh. of the Amazon. If it's Amazon, I'll definitely get it. <laughs> yep, good times. Great times. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, my yeah, Nito, I know it was gonna be a two pack. Oh, here we go. It's Wilford Diabetes Brimley meets up. Uh, yes, meets Michael Bay in our first look at Rise of the Beast Stratosphere. Is Stratosphere the cool uh, jet that had the little mini Optimus Prime that you could deploy yep. from the back? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. From Revenge of the Fallen. This is gonna be another jet fire that farts. Probably. It looks like it just everybody's going to come. Does your feet hurt when you've just been walking around for like two minutes? Odds are it's death beaters. <laughs> We're up a bump. It ain't dead. Did he die? Yes. He was like 105, or I think. Sometimes I like a medium rare steak served to me by an imprisoned Filipino man boy I keep in my basement. Because I'm Walter Brimley Khan. And I'm a robot. You're weird, dude. Diabetes. Weird. Sometimes I'll sneak up on Matt while he's sleeping and just sniff him and go, oh, my blood sugar spiking. <laughs> Diabetes. Fucking weirdo, dude. It's busting. 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 So what, what is this again? What are we looking at? So it's uh, oh, Frank uh, Matano, who's playing Stratus, uh, Stratosphere. Okay, that's cool. And Rise of the Beasts. So there's his design. He's got to have a... Mu- I don't, what's the deal with giving fucking robots facial hair? I don't know. Well, what's the point of giving them a nose? They don't smell. I don't they know. Breathe. What's the point of giving them shit? Like, I, I hope I hear a line where like, Oh, my lungs are like on fire, Optimus. My, I do. My back muscles are hurting. Transform. Clunk, 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 clunk. Oh, clunk, my thighs. Clunk, 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 clunk. Cramp. Ramp. Ramp. Justin, Ramp. thoughts on Stratosphere? Go. Uh, I think he just looks like he's like stereotypical like World War Two bomber guy. So. Two bomber guy. Hmm. I can't wait to bomb these Nazis and go have a beautiful, peaceful dinner. Now that you say, it, give him some glasses, and he does look like Wild Bill a little super bit. super racist <laughs> restaurant that only lets my kind in it. Hey, Mississippi for life. Wow. <clears throat> Bro, he does look like the, that, that face on him. It looks probably looks like the same face that every other racist douchebag in the fifties had when they're like, uh-huh. "You make the Hispanics and blacks can vote." Shit. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I know we're talking about your granddaddy. Now we had that Babe Ruth <laughs> that used to <laughs> keep his neighborhood away. Yeah. <laughs> Not it is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. Oh, Grandpappy, Grandpappy Deluxe. I want to know what kind of jet he is, or what kind of uh, aircraft he is, because he definitely looks like he's got an engine for... Just one of those bomber planes. Yeah. 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 It It looks like uh, the top of a propeller there, too. That's what I I was wondering, exactly. I'll be honest, the stratosphere from the Rise of the Revenge of the Fallen wasn't a bad figure, in my opinion. It's those big, gonky feet (laughs) on it. (laughs) Where it's like... Stratosphere, we need backup. I'm coming, probably. He, like, annihilates three cities in three strides. Because <laughs> he's this gigantic fucking kaiju robot. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I've killed all these innocent humans with my huge ganky feet. Damn it, the hell. God damn, damn sorry, it, guys. Welcome back. Oh, that guy a tough customer, huh? Took a little while to, to finish the Wait, job. I was going to do the whole show over. Nah, well, I mean, sometimes you get the call. Mm-hmm. You gotta go so, behind. Them I don't. I don't the ever get the call. Give that somebody's, somebody's eyeball gets in, gets impaled by a flathead screwdriver, and their young lady, you know, blinded for the rest of their life. Oh, you gotta God. take the call. 
Robert, <laughs> this is Robert. This is Walter Bimby. I hope they fucking put her in jail. Is your butt hurt after sitting down? It's not a criminal case. It's a negligence. Oh, George, probably diabetes. You got diabetes. Fucking I hope she gets this. I hope she gets the chair. Jeez, no, it wasn't an attack. It was negligence. Okay. All right, anyway, started. so up next, Rise of the Beast, Rhinox in hand images. So. Never it's saw this hammer. guy's robot mode. Seen his uh, beast mode in all the films. This is that's a fucking scary robot. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! I need bugging, this in my collection. Look at that mean bugging face, man. He's just angry Holy at the love. Holy crap! Bro. That's the type of face that goes. Hey, get out my yard. Hey, hey, where'd you get that chain? What do you mean the chain? My grandmother, give me that chain. My chain. You Debo. Mean my chain. He it is did an angry too. He died too. Robot that looks like it will straight up fucking rob you. Come by your house the next day and say, "I heard you got robbed." Mm-hmm. No, 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 nothing happened. Ron Oxley is what I thought. I like the two uh, horns on the back of his shoulder. It does, man. Yeah, like the, I like that and the uh, that looks almost like cool. the armor plate on yep, around it, the sides. I think it fucking works, man. Oh my god, <laughs> Matt, you have this? No, I have the. This is the studio series. I have the Rise of the Beast one. There's two mm. different ones. Oh my god! I need a fuck. I need this in my life. So these are more detailed uh, than the Rise of the Beast ones. Yeah, I need this in my life. This is. I like that hammer too, man. That's a cool weapon too. That's a little melee weapon. That mm-hmm. fucking murder hammer he's got. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that definitely fits Rhinox. Holy crap, man! This is not a bad looking figure. No, nope, pretty cool. I like it. And Robert, Robert considered, I like it. Uh, I mean, ah. it's it's weird. Look, as a figure, ah. it looks good. It's weird seeing the stuff before you get into the media. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's no connection to it. It doesn't look like Beast Wars, right? So I don't have the pull to it. I Hopefully, when I watch the movie, I'm psyched. I'm like, oh, yeah, the Rhinox, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, are, it's we hard. To the, are we going together to watch the movie? No. Oh. I'll wait Damn. for uh, Blu-ray. Damn. I'll wait for Redbox. I think we should all go to the movie theater at the Red same box. time uh, on speaker And FaceTime. Yeah. It wouldn't be annoying at all. To and we'll, hold our, we'll hold our phones up the entire time. Please put your hand down, sir. I am party watching. I'm on this a FaceTime. Right <laughs> I am party watching. I'm on a podcast. Do you not respect this form of media? I'll hell you to crown, bitches. We're going to be well, popular subscribers. this film. Y'all subscribe to our Twitter and our OnlyFans. I do seriously like the design of this figure. Having uh, been a fan of Rhinox from the Beast War days, oh, I wasn't crazy about his uh, original, like, what was it, Kenner that did him, right? I think it was Mattel. <clears throat> was it, it Mattel? Was no, it's I don't Kenner. know. It's Kenner. It's Kenner, thank you for your order. So, <laughs> you know, like, I wasn't a fan of that version of Rhinox. I love the Generations line. I thought the Kingdom was okay. The Generations had more thought put into it. Um, this is winning me over. Like I could buy two of these and make one like a, like an uh, endangered African white rhino, and he hangs out in, you know, where the other rhinos are, and he defends them have, from poachers. Why don't you just have Jim Carrey popping out some of the one of the booties? Oh, uh, everyone does that. Yeah, we get it. You know, you're old enough to remember Ace Ventura, Bet Detective, and infamous uh, rhino uh, scene. Uh, but uh, you want to kill a fucking endangered one? No, Douche. not kill an endangered one. Like he Douche. would defend them from poachers. You know your people. Douche. I'm a dentist. I make over six figures a year. Time to kill my an people. endangered lion. Oh my! I think Africans are killing them and poaching them. I'm not African, but thank you. Though. And it's also American hunters that go out there for quote unquote sport in freaking in enclosed uh-huh. freaking hunting grounds. That's fucking. That's yeah. fucking nuts. Right. You're dumb. You're yep, right in your mouth while it's you small. sleep. Wait till TF come, man. Me and Joe S is going to fart right up in your mouth. It's I ain't going to fucking be around y'all, man. I ain't going to... Wait, I'm going to TF con, yeah. BotCon pissed me off a little bit now, but anyway. I'm going to burn calories, those sons of bitches. Yeah. God dang. Speaking of sons of bitch, bitches, you only lose once, Yellow Park. Dude, look <laughs> at this Primal fucking model problem. kit. Look I may need to jump off again if I get this call back. Mm-mm-mm. That's fine. Take care of business so you get the bills. Dude, look at this prime. This man. is fucking nice. Holy it looks like a ninja. 
20 centimeters is how tall, Justin? You're the math ways on the show? Oh, I don't inches. know. He just ripped seven out his inches, penis. probably. Justin? What? I'm busy looking at the pictures. I'm sorry. Uh, when, when you said he looks like a ninja, I, I agree. He looks like uh, Noob Cybot. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Look at the paint. on Man, these are like, they're already uh, mainly, you know, they're easy builds. They're already painted. Um, I'm definitely, I'm definitely on this guy. He looks fucking badass. I he's like about, the fucking swords. He's about eight inches, by the way. Eight mm. inches. I don't care about the hands. The hands are kind of weird looking, but man. Ah, oh, that's, just, this reminds me. presence, dude. I also picked up the R.E.D. Optimus Primal because I saw him at Walmart. It was a clearance one because the box was banged up for like 10 bucks. Oh, that's nice. So dude, look, at, pick up, but, look at yeah. picture nine, dude. Look at his his uh, shoulder or his uh, neck area, all the you know sculpt work in there. Mm-hmm. Nice wow. little Pistons manipulation of the stuff. body, make it look like he's got traps, but it's all like cylinders and pistons. Yeah, just the, and, the, and the first picture, the first picture, he just got a presence, man. It looks, yeah. And watch this thing be the crappiest t- you know transformer ever, but. It looks badass. The thing with model kits is they look really, really great, but they're like really deceptively light. Mm-hmm. Which is what I loved yeah. about the Flames Toys model kits. Those were great model kits. They really were, but they're really fucking light, man. Like when a fan blowing on high can knock it off a fucking shelf. Did you fart on it? Did you guys mention whether it's painted or? Yeah, that, that, that's that's, that's what I painted. wonder too. No, it's I mean, does it, does it come as a painted on yes. spruce? Yes, it's all painted, and it's an easy easy uh, build. Yeah, they're all painted. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Looks good. Looks good. I like this take on Optimus Primal. You know? I like that, you know, I like what they did. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks bad. Yeah, it says, yeah, we I know can't... that these model kits will be pre-painted and more affordable than other previous Jolo parks, so it's going to be a little cheaper. I don't know what the price is, but... Man, yeah, they're pre-painted. You know, when, I, when I look at Image 9, I can't help but sit there and think Optimus Prime is going to be like, the Lin Kuei will fail to no man. So it doesn't transform? No, it's a model kit. So you don't like it, man? No, I love it. I'm, I'm getting this one. I'm transforming. Dude, I'm getting... I got 3-0... Um, that, hey, have you got the 3-0 uh, Nemesis Prime from the MDLX one? Me? Ooh, did y'all see the star screen from the MDLX one? I'm, oh, never that buying looks another so good. Th- I'm never buying another 3 0 product for the rest of my oh, life. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, they treated you wrong for one time. But, anyways, yeah, they, they treat three you zero. wrong if you have a problem with their stuff. They're, they're jokes. They're going to have a problem with their stuff. So, I'm looking at, I just looked up the Optimus Prime Yellow Park model kit. Yeah. And they range from 200 to 50. And one of them 16 centimeters, so that's not very big. But, um, yeah, the, the $200 one, Jesus. That's a really detailed model kit. It is, I think this, did it say $45? looks way nice for $45. That's not bad at all. It feels solid. This is only $45? Damn. That's definitely worth it. I'm just looking at the the people talking about it down below. Huh? I don't know. If, I don't know where he got the forty five dollars from, but um, if it's only forty five dollars, I'm definitely getting that. And the Lin Kuei will fall to no man. Yeah. They had a Shockwave model kit. That's 170. This is just eBay prices, so it could be fucking overshot. Because yeah, they've done some. They did. They have a Bumblebee, I think, too, as well. I think maybe. Yeah, it's. I'm looking up shopping results on Google. Oh. Yeah, it looks good. So, yeah, it does. It looks really good. I am getting Link Quay vibes from it. Like I think he needs. Uh, a, I expect Sub Zero to come out to help mm-hmm. him. But the, <laughs> the 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 swords look fucking dope. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. Well, he, so I mean, he looks cool. I think he's neat, and if he's only like forty five bucks, that's pretty pretty damn good for the price. I don't know if I feel like he really looks like primal to me. Like he feels too too sleek and all that, but I mean, he's cool. Well, he I, like I feel like the apes. Apes. Looks, what was the what was the plan of the apes? Was, um... Oh, I, you're get Bobby on the phone, Robert. He would know the name of the character from Planet of the Apes. That's a gorilla. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Fuck. 
Caesar. He looks like Caesar. Kind of. Yeah, with a body. Yeah, the body top. Matt. C- Caesar had a, a mask on. Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. What, what is it? What is it? What, what, what a Roman what, 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 emperor. What do Roman emperors cut their hair with? Caesars. Little Caesars. All right, it's time for you to go. Good night, folks. Yeah, go take your call. You're done for the day. <laughs> yeah, I heard a call. I heard a, I heard a ring. So you I, are fired. I, I, I do right now, that Robert. we brought that we brought Reg on for a reason. You know. <laughs> there we go. We can now fire. We can now fire Robert Back to D. four oldly. <laughs> uh, Robert E. Robert U. For Robert unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> for Robert E. For Robert ejected. Uh, Badass fucking horrible jokes. You racist piece of shit. Well, it was good to have you on, Richard. <laughs> no, no, Robert, you're fired, not Richard. <laughs> you're going nowhere, Richard. You're good, pre-order. Don't worry about it. Um, so this look, this does look. I am getting now because you mentioned it, Matt. I am getting Caesar from Planet of the from the Rise of the Planet of the Apes trilogy yeah, vibes. Yeah, you are. Um, but I still think it would look good on the shelf. I think yeah. it's a great like. Good hey, this spot. is a version of Optimus Primal from Multiverse Number. Blah 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 blah. Right, because. If I don't like something and it doesn't look like it when I remember it when I was younger, then it's like, ah, it's from the multiverse. Fuck it. I don't care. That's the excuse I'm going with. And I love that it's driving people fucking crazy. I love that, you know, I, I just I want to give a big take a moment to talk about the geekdom and, and geek groups, especially the Spider-Man fans, which I'm watching a fan base go toxic in real time with every issue that Zeb Wells releases and the fans are losing their shit because Peter Parker's still having bad things happen to him for over a year now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. this is great. I'm in on this. When this comes out, I'm going to see if it's reasonably priced by that. I mean, this shit best not cost over 60 fucking dollars for a really like a two ounce hunk, hunk of plastic. I'm in. I mean, if they want anything over 60, they're out of their goddamn minds. But I'm out in. of their goddamn minds. Justin, do we have questions in the email? I don't know. No. Let's see. Yeah, let's go check. While you're doing that, hey, pre-order, it being your first show as an official member of All Hail Unicron, you are joining the ranks of people like Greg for Mercy, our oh good friend God. Lenny, our good friend <laughs> Lenny, Bobby <laughs> Skullface. How's it feel joining the accolades of those people? Uh, it, it still feels surreal. Yeah, feels good. Feels good to be feels part good. of the team. Like your like yeah, your nickname pre order. It ain't shit, man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we do have a yeah, question. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, damn I just it, want dude. a big shout out to Matthew Deluxe Baller for coming across as that drunk girl at the party. That's like, I love them so much. As she sister goes, I'm just gonna drive my to car Oscar. into a streetlight. I'll give it up to Oscar. Always having stupid stories. Yeah, you. You yeah. just have a chick that got dumped yeah. by your favorite dude. Suck it. Bitch. I can't <laughs> suck it if I can't find it. And let me get a bag suck of it. flour. All right, Justin, go ahead. What's the question? Flour and go for the wet spot. Give me some oranges. <laughs> Gross. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist shit. Give me some oranges. All have right. fun in, Jer- have fun in New bringing, Jersey. Are you bringing Grimlock to uh, TFCon? I'm hoping so, yeah. Is that what you call your penis? No, that's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking are you, bring, are you bringing your penis to TFCon? I would hope so. It's attached to me. I want to make Grimlock. All righty. So here we go. All right. <clears throat> Quint writes, Dear Shat... Uh, hi, guys. Last episode Damn. was a bit like the old days when there was a lot of news and it didn't matter who made it. I know this because I'm listening to Shattered Cast Uncut again. Beginning with episode number 70. I think that's the time I started listening. I'm currently at 94 and saw your young Man, fat faces. Sorry, I'm old and from Europe. <laughs> it's a bittersweet experience. That chemistry of six slash seven people was awesome. It's also bittersweet because that's almost 10 years ago, 2015. But when I look at my collection, there are several mentioned toys I still haven't swapped out. And somehow they give me the feeling those times are better or at least more exciting because everything was new and we had hope. My question is, which time do you prefer most? The time everything was new or the time you have options and can wait for the next obvious gaps? I know the answer depends on what or which you collect. If you disagree too much, please look at where we are now. But is it more exciting? Thank you for all those years. And I'm still listening. listening kind regor- regards. I don't Quint, understand the question. Trion. Go ahead. Okay, so I'll answer the question because I understood it. Because okay, I was cool. paying attention, Matt. Awesome. You get your head out of the bag of Chipotle, you're shoving it in. 
Mm, right up your ass. You know, you know why Matt, had, Matt has cramps? Because he put too much salt in his rice and it immediately <laughs> yeah. gave him leg cramps. It did. Is that baby Lisa? Get over here and massage my calves. Oh. Lisa, I can't feel my left arm. Is that, that's a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> my left the arm rice hurts. is salty. Are you hungry? You about to get this attitude of the two piece of the biscuit? I love you, baby. You're my everything. Man, it was, the, the chicken and rice was really good, and I had green beans, so, too. But. Re- rewinding the clock 10 years ago, when companies like MMC, TFC were making figures, you know, Fans Toys was like a blip on the radar. They hadn't was that 10 any- years ago? Was it 2013 they started making stuff? Uh well I'm thinking like 2015 but it's fucking funny. Okay. Well, I mean I don't remember I, I I don't remember when third I know third party started off with like you know um, add on kits and stuff but when did they start making like full figures I think it started with TFC and a roller right and then you had fans project TFC oh, yeah fan project yeah so that's about starting around 10 years ago when that started up you know. By 2014, okay. you had Scoria, I think. I think it was no, no. Okay. It was 2013. Wait, when did we start? When did we start Shattercast? 14? Um, uh, no, it was like 2013, I think. That sounds right. No, yeah, about that. Yeah. Our first TF Pond. Yeah, because my Chicago. wife and I were dating at the time when we were doing Shattercast. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you got, we started like 10 years ago. That's fuck. Yeah. I feel. Holy like, you know, fucking shit, man. Yeah. yeah. So like, I remember. All of us being excited, especially for MMC and their take on the Predacons. <laughs> and yeah, Masterpiece cool. Wheeljack was coming out. So if we wanted our G1 Masterpiece right. figures, we were looking forward to every Takara uh, submission that was put Man. out there. There was a new third-party company out like every month? Every week. It was oh, it was a silhouette game. Like Everyone yeah. was doing oh, silhouettes. I miss silhouettes, man. Man, fuck this listener for sending this question. Making me sad. Those hmm. were different times, that's for sure. Yeah, um, the third party company. Yeah, they were third party company were popping up, and you know what was exciting about it for me? It, we're stepping on your toes anyway, Oscar. What's Who exciting? Says? What's exciting okay. about it for me was was I just had like I you know once I started collecting third party, I had a Billy. I had two Billies. It was just like if I got a figure, I could put it on the shelf. You know, it was like what's coming out. Like it, it wasn't like like how it became just this tidal wave of stuff, and then you get some of this, and you got to branch out into that. And, you know, next thing you know, you're surrounded in a room with toys jumbled everywhere and trying to ship them to the other place. It's just, mm-hmm. it's, it was, it was easier times. I feel it was lighter because it was new, but there wasn't that much yet, so you could be excited about the next thing, and you had a place for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, now it's now it's like, oh, am I swapping out? You know, like it, it, fans' toys can be blamed for choking out a lot of the competition, which really doesn't help. You know, the only. The only company I feel that's putting stuff out that's stylized is Kang Toys. Everyone else is trying to be super accurate. And, you know, it's just we had more variety. Some of the variety was hilarious because it was horrible. Hey, Robert, let me ask you something about that. You just said about, you know, fans toys choking out the competition and everything. Do you think since they've done that, they've maybe gone down? Yeah. In quality? Yes. Yes. Because I think they don't have competition very much. Like, I remember 2014, I bought a. Fans Toys Quake Wave? Is that what they called it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the first right. one they put out. I, I bought that and <clears throat> it really felt like a really oversized but really heavy G1 homage to Shockwave. And I had that figure for years to even one of our listeners helped me because I lost his uh, translucent his translucent hand broke, so he sent me a replacement. Um but it's like back then though, back in like 2013, 2014. You know, there was always a new company coming out. They, oh, like iGear was still a thing, right? Remember them? Oh, yeah. And if you were a chug collector, you could yeah. just be going for upgrade kits and stuff. Yep. Yeah. 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 Or, or you could collect it. TFC MMC. combiners because their combiners were chug. So they were yeah, all like Voyager was. class, $100 Voyager class figures. Everyone's bitching about the price point on them because uh, I think it was Superion was yeah, just coming. Yeah, you remember people bitching about a $100 figure, man? Yeah. And now it's just like, it has to be usually $100. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay $300 for this Autobot base diorama. <laughs> remember <laughs> TSU know. Superion, then had an add-on kit for that. There was an mm-hmm. add-on kit for the Hasbro video game Mabruticus. Yep. Yeah. Remember the Microblaze? That, you know, you had, you had Hercules. You had the first Combiner Wars. You had uh, Fans Project, right, versus TFC. Isn't that it? Weren't those the two? The two they did. They were doing Motormaster, though. They were right? doing uh, Intimidator. Was no, but name. who was the, the who did the first uh, Devastator? 
Uh, I think it was TFC. Oh, TFC. Make, toy. it's make it's toys TFC. and TFC were like yeah. the first two. Was, yeah. Did you say make toys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, make right. toys. Owned uh, by fans. I think it was TFC. Toys right. was the first yeah. one. I, I remember because the, they were all looked almost the same. They were all then, the black boxes and stuff. And then you were like, oh my God, Hercules is huge. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that I, I just think. I also fans toys came along and they did the Dinobots and right, but they were all if they, if they did the Dinobots now, they would be super plain. They would have no chrome. They would be yellow yeah. plastic, like you know, paint yellow. So paint. fans toys is actually they've hurt themselves. Like like I said, they don't have, really have any competition. I think the only really they have is a lot of fans toys early shit was like G one figures, man. It really yeah, was. It was a they, lot of G one figure aesthetics with the chrome and the paint jobs and shit well, like that. And now it's it all like, take. let's make it like cartoons well, because everyone wants their fucking cartoons. It's because they're following, I can see it now in retrospect, this entire time, they've been following and supplementing official, right? So MP10, right? The masterpiece with MP10 was supposed to be an homage to everything, not just tune, not just toy, not just comic or whatever. It's supposed to be an homage. You're supposed to get realistic stuff and like an interesting take on things. But it wasn't supposed to be pure tune. That wasn't until you got um, what's his face? I keep saying backdraft. What the hell is his name? That was the 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 Inferno? the Inferno was the first one where that right? I think it was, or it was Ironhide, where they were like, here's something that's more super tune. So, but fans toys is has followed suit, you know, and they are following that. And I just wish they never did. I wish they. Yeah, but we're not talking about. Style. We're talking about the companies before Fans Toys came along. Well, they were. They were. They were fun, right? Remember fa- the heads, the fans, fans project still, headmasters. Oh yeah, they yeah. were still good. They were still fun. You know, MMC, and... Make Toys. You know, all these figures. Oh, they were so interesting and stylized, but not too much so. But they weren't plain. Mm-hmm. They were exciting. Like I still have Utopia on a shelf across from Trypticon. Not Trypticon from uh, Scorponok. At that time, make, Planet make, X was doing the Dinobots. Right, Planet X was. You know, it's just it was really exciting. It was exciting, and now I feel almost like it's a commitment. You know, mm-hmm. I'm begging for the next thing to be interesting. Like with the blaster, I'm begging for that gold chrome chest. I really dislike just the flat, the 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 yellow. You know, I I with his pelvis being just plain. Well, dude, I, but, yeah, I mean, I, I you know he does look like he's wearing a diaper, but I looked at the cartoon and it, it right back the it looked what it is. It looks well. Exactly the thing like is, the does. thing is, the thing is nowadays when you talk about third party where it was and where it is now, it's just X Transbots, you know, make toys <laughs> maybe, fans toys, and then you've got all these pop up companies yeah. that they're 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 what packaging they're right. Pa- but, their packaging is very the- KOE, you know. Well, I, you know, I thought, you know, I was wanting to, you know, Deformation Space. I like their Seekers, and their Blaster's really good, too, as well. I was hoping they were going to do the Coneheads. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, they're coming in doing one or two, and then they're out. And then, you know, another company, the same company or whoever there, changed their name, one and do, they do one and two, and then they're out. You the know, problem with like, that, when there's no branding associated with the line, you know, um, it's hard to have trust as a consumer, right? Yeah. Because you don't like, you know, this quote unquote company that's releasing this figure can just disappear tomorrow. Like, just like with uh, what was that Jeff Fire's name? What was the Jeff Fire the, the piece of shit? Oh, Kronos, Kronos. Kronos right? Yeah. They could just disappear on you. So maybe your figure needs a replacement part. You're never going to get it. Do before. I remember? So, do I remember that PM that Bobby sent to all of us? Abort, abort, abort. Oh my god, abort. This <laughs> thing's a fucking piece of shit. But now with with the pop-up companies though, there's no building of a brand really um with m- many of them. So they get lost in the mix too. Right, but you can't right, you lose track, you don't know what's coming out, but also just like, well, you know, I can't trust that you're going to do this entire line of, of figures that you're dabbling in. You know, yeah, do I want to start a don't start a combiner. You know, if you're a new company, don't start a combiner. Then you know you get two in and then you're out. It's yeah, like it's toys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God, where is the rest of the fucking aerial? But I don't care if they combine. I just want them so I can have them for my bot modes, and I'm good to go. I don't give a fuck if they combine anymore. Yeah. Oh, maybe they'll pull a generation toys, make it wait five years to the oh, last. Oh fuck that! Out. Wait on that hot spot. I don't. I didn't even get it. I waited so long. I was like, I don't give a. F-. It's not even in scale anymore. I'm just like, I don't even care anymore. I don't want it. So I just have four fucking generation toy uh, protective bots. Just yeah. You know. But 
Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. I mean, like I said, and then, you know, Legends came along, you know, and they, they, they're taking over the game now. I mean, I think Legends is, you know, probably one of the hottest things to get right now. Well, if you uh, think about it, though, you still really, Legends is three companies. It's Iron Factory, New oh, yeah. and Magic Square. Right. And then you've got, like, Zeta did the brilliant Superion. You have Kang Toys doing mini versions. But there's not that much competition still. Right. What about Doctor Wu and their micro? Yeah, yeah Doctor Wu. They're guys. perfect for the they're perfect for the Titan class. You but know. I mean, you know, New Way. I mean, Iron Factory. I think Iron Factory is, is really doing good because they're their own. They're you know they're their own stylized. They're not you know G one, well, they're G one, but they're not G one. Right. So you but know, was, Iron Factory is in their own lane. I think. But back in the day, there was something about the weight. There was something about your shelf. Your shelves weren't cluttered if you were just collecting like masterpiece or whatever you know they were em not empty but you had space you and know, you're in, you're waiting for that figure to come out you and then there and then and it went from getting the figure itself to the presentation of the figure and i reference warbitron on this for their uh computron set right these boxes with these thick oh they were sleeves. nice boxes yeah right. and you know like who else has high boxes? end foam for Kang a light toys. speed Kang Toy has nice boxes. Generation Toys has nice boxes too, as well. But you know what? Now it is. It's just now it's like you get an Optimus Prime, and someone else makes another Optimus Prime. You got Bumblebee. Oh, the movie ones. Else. Yeah. I mean, well, no, I'm just saying G1. They're just trying to improve. They're just trying to improve other older models. Like I don't want improvements. The other one's fine. Like Jazz, you know, or you know, Fans Toys is doing that. We you know they put out Jazz. They put out Mirage. There's already several jazz, there's already several mirages, and now blaster, and it's just like, I mean, I don't, you know, why I don't want to buy another one. I mean, I, remember, I do, but I remember ten years ago doing the show from my office and saying I just want an MP Megatron. That was before a Polyon, Polyon came out. Yep. I remember that, like I just want an MP. That's the I like that time where you didn't Dude, know it was going to happen. Remember when we were at TFCon? I think in was it 15 or 16 that they announced the MP Megatron and everybody lost their fucking shit. And that, that was exciting. Now, if another matter, you know, MP Megatron comes out, everybody be like, okay, you know, but you yay. know what? Oscar, if fans toys announced one, it would be exciting. Right. Oscar. What? Megatron. Would it really be, though? Would it really be though? Jesus. It would I be. mean, I remember going to TFCon, the third party. I think on. it'd be okay. But I mean, that's a car one's kind of hard to top. I don't even own that one, but I got to fucking give it props. That's a fucking smooth looking Megatron. Well, I mean, I just, I, I'm still holding on to hope that they wouldn't do something like that because it's so tuned. Even though it's a good figure, it's just like aesthetically different. Like it matches with the Takara Shockwave, but you compare that to Quake Wave. Like I want oh, something in line with yeah, Quake Wave. Even close to Quake Wave. You know, so I want you, something more so in line. So you get a Despertron. That's what yeah. I got. You're like, hey, no, what no, about no. pre-order? What do you think, pre-order? Let pre-order talk. No, no, I, 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 I agree with a lot of what you guys are saying. I think back then, uh, you know, Chug was kind of a new take on a character. Right. It wasn't trying to be the toy, the G1 toy, or, you know, in the case of Universe, some of those weren't just from G1, but they weren't trying to be the original toy. They weren't trying to be the original cartoon. And Masterpiece was still in this almost like post Binal Tech era where it's like, here's just a really great version of this character. And it's not quite the cartoon and it's not quite the toy, the G1 toy. And uh, yeah, I think that that was when it was easier to fill holes too because there weren't Yiggity. five versions of every character. Right. I think that's why, why a lot of people liked MMC because it was something different, but it was, you know, the comic was so popular. You talking yeah, about the yeah. cross dimension? Not cr that was cross. That was, that was cross crossover gen. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's make toys. You're talking about the cross dimension stuff. I yeah. would. I wish they would have finished. Uh, we saw a Galvatron that really looked good, mm -hmm. and there was another. I think Shockwave. They showed Shockwave too, and never saw it. But I liked their Prime and the Megatron was really good. The Jetfire was kind of, eh, but their Prime and Megatron from that line really fun, posable, Shit. articulated really well. Yeah, that, I wish I, they would have made that. I wish they would have made that Shockwave and Galvatron. That, that Jetfire dropped to like seventy bucks at some websites, man. No, it's, it's, not, it's save, not good at all. Save its life. Remember, Robert? Remember, you know the uh, what was that um, that made that Optimus Prime from uh, World War 
uh, the comics. The, oh, uh, Hearts of Steel? Oh. No, not Hearts of Steel. Uh, the Yeah, the comics. Yeah, the War uh, Within. It was yeah, the, was it uh, Spark, Spark Toys? Toys? Yeah, Spark, Spark Toys. Toys did one. They did the Prime. And there was another one that did, just, just did the one Prime, the commit, uh, just did Prime. Civil but, War. Civil War. I was hoping they'd come out with uh, Grimlock or something like that, because Spark Toys did Prime and Megatron, and they were both really fun, and then they just disappeared. Um, I was hoping one of those would have done uh, the Wasn't guy, There was Grimlock supposed to be a Grimlock. There was they, supposed yeah. to be a Grimlock. Yeah, they showed a Grimlock, too. Yeah, I Spark was Toys, excited I for that thing. I remember I that, that, was, that was after Iron Factory released their, um, their War Within Dinobots, and okay. there's the Dreamwave, right? Who made, the, yes. who made the Optimus Prime Civil War? You said. I think the the newer one is called Civil War. Civil War. I was, that was really good. Too, I remember one. being excited for that Grimlock. I really yeah. wanted that fucking Grimlock. Me too. And, 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 and I think it was teased at the same time the Megatank was, if I recall correctly, or around that time. Megatank had been had been teased for a few years. Yeah, that's, you a, know. Good, that's a fun box. I too. think so. Maybe I'm wrong because that was post Bumblebee movie, and that's not that long ago. <laughs> I might be confusing the two. Oh yeah, but, the Megatron and Optimus from Spark Toys are was a while ago. Yeah, yeah they're well before. They were like seventeen, I think. Seventeen. But that, that fucking Grimlock, I remember that thing. I wanted that so bad, even though I never read the comic. You know. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, but I think Planet X sucks. was. <laughs> I think Planet X was supposed to make a Skylinks, and it never came about. Yeah. So, I don't know. Anyways, remember uh, BTS Toys? They made that. That sound wave that was the based song. on the yep the tape. Yeah. Oh, I bought that. I bought that for Robert. <laughs> and they made those. Yeah, chug, I have that still. Yeah, they made those chug trailers. Those things. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, I bought that sound wave on eBay for like twenty five bucks one night, and I as soon it. as it came in, transformed them. Absolute like wobbly. Oh yeah, that was like, that was yeah, yeah. that was no good. I bought it for I bought it for Robert at TFCon. I said, "Here you go, buddy." I remember he, back in the day though. Oh, sorry. No, because he, he bought me all those crap of comics. <laughs> fucking piece of shits. How many did I send you? Five. I think it was like six. six. It was Five great because we would like we would start an episode mm. and and like it would be an episode. Of Matt and I was like, "Oh my god, guys! I just sent Matt another crap of comics." <laughs> Oh, so you I found him on eBay for like twenty bucks. I mm-hmm. sent it. He funded uh, Robert funded the uh, whole project. <laughs> so you sent him like not all at once, but over time. I can't remember. That's that's amazing. Know, it was, dude. Did... It wasn't all at once, Robert. You did it like it was seriously like a few weeks. I just got him another crap of comics. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. And he then I I sold my dicka and then he fucking sent me another fucking Ditka. And I no, I think it. I sent you three Ditkas or something, oh didn't I? No, I think it's just one. You sent me one. And is that when Chosen Prime sent you that banner or the poster? Remember uh, that? No, That's when Chosen Prime sent you that banner. It was like, <laughs> like we're a Hydra, cut off a head, three rides. And it's no, like... you sent me the banner. No, that was the uh, <laughs> Crap Agonics one. Oh, okay. Because you sold it or something? I thought, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's going away. You did a lot of business something. with the Chosen Prime because I remember a phone call you and I had when I was like, "Yeah, I got like 300 <laughs> points." You're like, let me check my account. I got like 3,585 <laughs> points. <laughs> they got me like a lollipop. <laughs> he got, uh, and he got like a, he got, got the KFC Leo Leo Vic, Victory Leo or whatever. And he's like, "Oh, All right. I didn't have to pay for it." <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Fuck up, Robert. Go like 300 points, okay?" <laughs> but the, remember that BTS toys had teased an Overlord that was. Gigantic, and the jet was based on the GI Joe Night Raven. Mm-hmm. I and it was mm-hmm. supposed to fit three and three quarter Joes, and it was going to be the jet from. And it showed a tank too for the Overlord. Wow! And I remember that. thinking, man, that's really cool because it's like, you know, it's Overlord and it's GI Joe inspired. It never happened because its MSRP was going to be like six hundred bucks. They like, yeah, no, it, no it one's going to pay this much for a robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And then Robosin comes out. Oh, we missed our chance. Oh my, oh my, oh my beer. Hold oh, my beer. Hold oh, oh, my, my support. Oh. Hey, Robert, you get that um the Robosin uh, Grimlock? We just showed that earlier. Robosin Grimlock. What do you think? Right back. Yeah, check the check the show notes. You'll yeah, they're making a Grimlock now. Is it under official? Yep. Yep. It's the same that made the uh, prawn that you got. I don't see it. Yeah, you do. It's, in the, it's the first one under the official. 
Yeah, because he Robert probably Robert doesn't to. know how to use the show notes. Oh, it's in Grimlock. It's an auto-transforming fucking Grimlock? Yeah. Same as uh, Prime. I think they're making a Bumblebee, too. Oh. They have a, a Bumblebee. Well, I don't see, I don't see an alt mode. Does, does it say no, trans? No, it's showed, Ed showed an alt mode. But yeah, it transforms. Yeah. It's just like Robus. It's, it's like Prime. Oh, my God. When does this fucking pre-order drop? Ah, no clue. They, they don't have a price yet, either. Oh, my God. I have to have this. I don't know. I think I want it, too. Holy hey Robert, you know shit. what I said? That it already has uh, better than the Optimus. What? It, it can stand in robot mode. Yeah, that's huge. It is. Had, it really I is. Had, I had to get um, I had to get a stand for mine. Yeah. Um. Oh, you did. So you, you missed all the great conversation we had. We had talked about that. Uh, you're gonna give it commands, and it's just gonna be like, no, me <laughs> like, no transform. No. I mean, this does your no. show. This ain't the freaking Toy Deco, the the just the silver uh, MPO nine. Sure, that's what it is, Robert. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It looks it does just look like, like it. the masterpiece. Yeah, I mean, a lot like it. I don't know. Uh, they don't look I like don't hand know. images. Uh, that'd be crazy. Wait, hold on. You're crazy, man. Hold on. Let's look at these feet. No, that's those are servos in there or something. Damn. Damn. This is crazy, and if he could, he's going to be able to walk as a dinosaur and move his head around, probably. I hope so. I hope so. Oh my God! It I could need be a thousand dollars. Okay, that's centimeters. So how many centimeters wide are his feet? That's from say fifty to sixty. Fifteen centimeters wide. How many inches is fifteen? It's probably less. Five. About six. Five. Six. Yeah. Why? Six. Just at the feet. That's just the feet, not the shoulders. Oh, here we go. We got him standing Five in front of the. Nine. Then you got like from shoulder, it looks like it's like 50 to 75. So 20 and 20 centimeters at the shoulders. That's probably about seven or eight. Damn. Eight seven. Yeah, 7.87. Seven. Yeah. Just Holy under eight. shit. And the fact that he can stand. How big is he going to be bigger than Prime? He should be bigger than Prime. I'm trying to, do they have a height on him? So I wonder if this is going to be in that, what's their new line called? The Elite line? Oh, the smaller one that they did prime as well? Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be in that line. No. Well, that doesn't... They have the non-transforming line. Well, there's that smaller Optimus coming, too. It doesn't transform, right? I think it does. The G- yeah, it transforms. Yeah, yeah, the, the Robinson? The They're smaller one? A, They're coming out with a simplified, smaller Robinson. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's like a 600 bucks or something. Oh, yeah. that's it? Just 600 I, Yeah. <laughs> Just six hundred. Six hundred. Dude, you got that in your in a office somewhere. You probably got it in, a, in your desk at one of your checks you have, dude. Guarantee you. And I gotta have this thing. That's gonna be fucking sick. I'm more excited from this than I am for than I was for Prime. So the show note was right then. What does it say? Because you'll probably order two. No, no, no. Just the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, that's exciting. Isn't it? All right, where's Oscar at? I'm back, sorry. All right, head is out. Okay. What do so, we want to talk about? We want to talk about anything else? I don't know. Is it going to verge to another conversation about fan stories? Um, yes. Fuck fan stories. Oh, I never really answered the question. So, um, oh, I'll answer it, Jason. Yeah, well, I so I am in. Good night, folks. I'm in, all right. Fuck you. Bye, everybody. I'm in. I'm in two minds of it. Like I do agree that like it was a more exciting time, but like I can't deny that I'm kind of happy to be a little bit more selective. Like, you know, I'm at a different point in my life where I've got you know, kids you and, love and, and things like that. That like you know, I've just got other responsibilities basically. You know, so um, I don't know. Um, I, I get what's being said about being, you know, it was a more fun time and everything like that, and I don't necessarily disagree, but uh, I, I'm okay with where we stand right now, too. So, yeah. And it you know, was it was a fun transfers. time because we always had hopes. We were hoping companies would do this character or this set or this combiner, and, you know... Um, we're still hoping <clears> that. I mean, there's still some holes in, in MP scale that we need, so... Yeah. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> you know, another thing that made it kind of exciting, I think, what? Is, sex. is that's a time when you could have sex with your third-party figures. Yeah. Uh, and nobody okay, cares. you're off. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> nobody no, but, cares. Uh, <laughs> nobody was judging you at all. Until right off. now. <laughs> now we're judging you. Yep. That's oh. all right. Anyway. No, but it, it was a time when 
when you didn't hesitate on <laughs> pre-orders for third party, right? Cause it was <laughs> that like, is true. Oh, if I don't get in on this, it's the, gone. It's done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not getting. <laughs> oh it. yeah, especially early fans toys, man. Yeah, yep. mid early mid early mid fans toys. Now you can. Eh, I mean, it's still about the same. I mean, most of the stuff really sells out. Well, not really. I mean, what since Mirage and Jazz, I think you still can find those for a good, you know, out, you know, not Outback, but uh, well, Outback and Braun. And, you know, since them, uh, since them, I think you still can find those. You know, used to. Yeah, you had to get on the pre-order. Or you were, you missed it. It was gone. Yeah, that was stressful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now it's like you got time. You know you have some time to. Yeah, and they're reissuing stuff, you know, and now they're doing toy decos and stuff, which, man, that toy deco Galvatron is just a beautiful piece. It's gorgeous. I, it, it's just, I don't know what it is. It just Well, I mean, it just reminds you, you know, you're, you know having the toy back in then, but. Man, that's a beautiful. I didn't get the uh, Astro Train. Did you get what? the Astro Train, Robert? Yeah, and after I cut out the box, I saw it was a limited number. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> oh, is it really? Was is yeah. it nice? Is it nice looking? It's gorgeous. Is it? You need I should have got you need it. To get it on you. I think you might find it at Show Z, but you can get the Japanese one as well. I got, I got, I got that one coming. Which one did you get? Oh, both. you got both of them. But I'm gonna have which one? What's the difference? The this is the colors. Uh, yeah, the colors. You know, the Japanese. I believe the the uh, train's black. It's just a slight different color variations. Uh, but I'm gonna where have. Where you gotta come from? Chosey. I'm oh. gonna have. I'm gonna have uh, shelves of toy decos. You know. Oh, that'd be nice. I need. I need to. I, that's what I was gonna ask. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm getting a, a shed out back and put my stuff up. I'm, I want to figure out what how i'm going to display my stuff you said you were taking you? a shit out back no he has no, a get, shed out back a shed i'm getting, a, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a he shed not a she yeah, shed but well I'm you gotta make shed. sure it's insulated properly you don't want like that shit did you rust close like on your house, house finally matt or are you guys still shopping no we're not moving now we're gonna we're gonna upgrade our house to how we want it and we're gonna fix it up okay. and I, we're, we're gonna i'm i'm gonna get a uh like a shed or something in the back and put all my stuff up there i'm gonna get it up so i'd I, I want. I actually want to talk to all y'all, or you know, anybody that wants to help me how figure out how I want to display. Like, do I want to display like in, like characters, or do I want to display lines, or do I want to display uh, Decepticons on one side, Autobots on one side? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with. I uh, think you should make a big pile of them. It just, just use a, use a shovel. No, just to find your toys. You know, I think I should just burn them, man, because I can get, I get some heat. You know, sometimes it gets cold down here. Oh, we're getting a pool too. Nice, nice. It's above ground. Coming one. down not, to it's Arizona. Not, it's not a, a you know, it's going to be above ground right now. But Matt, you sure it's a good idea? Why is that? I'm going to swim naked. A lot. Get, Matt, you got to go up the ladder and stuff. I might get a deck slowly. Okay. I'm not gonna deck it's dude. dangerous, man. And you can play the song Instruments of Destruction as you come out of the pool. Whip your hair around with your beard. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be naked a lot. That's gonna be like a real time fall on the fucking side of the pool and the whole as thing. As he whips collapses. the towel around his waist. <laughs> Lightning <laughs> revelation. <laughs> 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 Robert, how much you pay for your? Um... So they got the they got the U.S. version for two nineteen. Get it uh, for uh, Astro Train. Then the Japan one is on you know, pre order right now, and it's two nineteen as well. Yeah, you get, get it, man. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. I can get both of them. It's a limited number. Get both, man. Stand them up next to Galvatron. Flank them. Yeah. Hey, how do you get the uh, gold the the gold chest or the uh, the thing from? Is it coming with another uh, another figure, or do you have to buy it? Separately? Use ten ten bucks. See if they still have it at Show Z. If yeah, it's not, on pre order. Yeah, it's ten a, bucks. It's a, it's a, oh, it's $10. Well, it doesn't say it just says a dollar for the deposit. It's ten bucks. It'll be ten right, bucks. Let's, let's wrap things up because I want to go to bed. I got to wake up early. Oh, okay, yeah, good night, folks. Too. I got to go. No, well, as show, oh, sorry, oh, I want to talk to everybody. God Richard dang. has sex with his toys. Mm-hmm. Pre order <laughs> throws down. The hold down with the ten year old toys, you fucking perv. You know he has that fan toys RC chest swap out piece. He he looks at his TFC Hercules like, let's see what's so Herculean about you, you piece of shit. He's got oh, the. Uh... I know why your joints are loose. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is some sticky stack. In he your takes another sip of scotch. How many RCs did you buy from um, Big Firebird? 
All, all, all his old toys, his joints are just frozen shut with dried <laughs> gum. <laughs> Squirt. Yeah, that was folks. a Reddit story. Let's not Take make it up, folks. Bye, everybody. So, as always, a uh, special <laughs> shout out goes to our and Eddie Dustmites for providing the beats for our theme song. Check out our friends over at Realm of Collectors on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Realm of Collectors. <laughs> it really is one of the best <laughs> communities. And the group of everyone who joined us from the Shattercast Uncut. We're grateful to each and every one of you for joining us on this journey. Check out T2RX6 on YouTube. Check out Matthew Deluxe Baldwin on YouTube, Instagram, where he is. How many followers you got there? Like 10,000? 27. 27 fucking thousand. And my butthole itches. This is how do you keep getting followers if they ever, that's why they don't listen to the show. Like he's probably a pervert. He probably—that's uh, what I tell everybody. He sounds so—he's like the Walter Brimley of Transformers collection. Beatties. Yeah, little you know, Beatties. he's got to sing about butt sex with fucking toys. Beaties. Uh, right. just... Good night, folks. So, on behalf of me and everyone else here at No Hill Unicron, our oh, good friend T Two R Six, the benefactor, and of course the Hill Hamp champion Hasbro himself, Matthew Deluxe Baldwin, Robert D, and newest member, Mister Pre Order Rich. We want to thank you for listening. Have a nice day somewhere else and stay reformatted.